Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the different types of the flower that has been classified on the basis of some of the important criteria. So let's look into the first criteria of flower classification that is based on the symmetry of the flower. So according to the uh, symmetry, the first type is known as the actinomorphic flowers. So let's understand through this diagram. Actinomorphic flowers are those flowers which have got radial symmetry. So if we try to divide the flower into two equal halves and the radial axis must pass through the center as you can see over here. So in any radial axis if we try to cut into two equal halves the flower will be divided into two equal halves through any radial symmetry and the symmetry must pass through the the axis must pass through the center. So this is known as radial symmetry an example is which is found here is in mustard. The second type is known as the zygomorphic flowers. Here the symmetry is only in one plane. Here the radial symmetry it means it can be divided into any plane uh, over the axis into two equal halves. But in zygomorphic here only in one plane it can be divided into two equal halves. The flower will be divided into one plane. So here in this picture you can see if we divide the flower in this plane then only it will be divided into two equal halves. Otherwise in any other plane if you try passing through the center it won't divide the flower into two equal halves. This is known as zygomorphic example is P. The third type is known as the asymmetric type of flowers. So example is canna. Here the flower cannot be divided into two equal halves in any plane. So we can see over here if you try to divide the flower in any plane passing through the center it won't divide into two equal halves. So these are the diff three different types of flowers based on symmetry. In the second type of classification flowers has been classified on the basis of the position of the different rows. What are those? The first type is known as the hypogynous flowers. So here the ovary is superior that means the position of the gynosium or the ovary is above all other floral plants. As you can see over here this is the ovary it is positioned at the highest level and all other parts are below the ovary. So this is type is known as the hypogynous flower example is mustard and china rose. The second type is known as the perigynous here the ovary is not superior the position of the ovary and the other floral parts is almost near about at the same level. So there are all the other parts along with the ovary are at the same level they are known as perigynous here the ovary is referred to as uh, semi inferior or sub inferior uh, half inferior ovary. So this is known as half inferior ovary unlike the previous one which was superior ovary here the ovary since it is lying along with the all the other floral parts is known as half inferior ovary. Example is plum and peach. The third type is known as epigynous flowers. Here the ovary is not at all seen outside. This is covered totally by the thalamus. The thalamus extends upward and it engulfs the ovary. The ovary becomes fused with the wall of the thalamus. So ovary is absolutely inside and all other floral parts are outside. So this is known as epigynous type of flowers and the ovary here is referred to as the inferior type of ovary. Example is guava and cucumber. So in this video we have talked about the different types of flowers and what are the different types? First what type was which was classified on the basis of symmetry and those were actinomorphic, zygomorphic and asymmetric flowers. The second type was on the basis of the position of the rolls. These were the hypogynous flowers, the perigynous flowers and the epigynous flowers. So I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.